On this week's show of Winchester Deadly Passion, Melissa is hunting giant moose in the Yukon Territory. Guided by Dave Marsters of Yukon Big Game Outfitters. is what people dream of when they come to the Yukon. We won't disappoint you. We'll illuminate you. Renowned for its wild and rugged mountains and willow-covered valleys, is also home to some of the biggest moose found on the planet. Heading into the Yukon to hunt moose with her husband, Melissa has booked a hunt with Yukon Big Game Outfitters. With approximately 14 million acres of wilderness, Yukon Big Game Outfitters holds the exclusive rights to guide clients in the largest outfitting concession in the Yukon. I'm hunting with Yukon Big Game Outfitters and I know this place is gonna be incredible. Probably one of the best moose hunting places in the world and uh, I'm pretty excited. We're gonna load up all our gear, go into camp, we cannot hunt today, so we'll just kind of get everything set up, and tomorrow we're gonna to get started. When you're picking a moose outfitter, there are so many options, especially if you wanna go up to the Yukon. But what I really wanted to do is find some place that I knew would have superb hunting and just nice people. So I talked with Tom Miranda, and he had said that he had incredible luck at Yukon Big Game Outfitters, and he said, you have got to go to Dave's camp. Well, it looks like that's perfect, exactly what we want. Yeah, we've got a lot of moose up in our area, probably the most moose in any of the areas up here, but uh, some big, big bulls that we never see, and, and we take limited hunters in this camp, uh, take uh, like six hunters a year, that's it. We've got the hunter's cabin over here, and we've got uh, pretty nice boats. Um, try to take care of the things that we can control, which is the camp, the food, and the gear and uh, of course the weather and the moose, you can't control them. So yeah, no, it's pretty comfortable up here. Literally everywhere you point a camera, absolutely beautiful. At night, the northern lights, they're incredible to watch in the sky. And we were able to get some awesome shots of northern lights. So that first morning we headed out and the weather was not cooperating. It was rainy, cloudy, and just not what you're hoping for. And the thing is, that's how it can be in the Yukon. You may have some nice days, but you also run into some pretty nasty weather along the way. And this was a 10 day hunt. We had plenty of time, so I thought, you know what? We'll get out there, see what we can see, and put in our time. That's all you can do. The good news is, if it gets too bad, you can always come back to the cabin midday and head back out in the afternoon.
Coming up next, giant bull moose are in range when we return. This segment was brought to you by DSG Outerwear. Doing something great for women in the outdoors by outfitting with the ultimate in fit, function, warmth, and comfort in women's hunting gear. Designed specifically for women, by women. Outfitting every season from sizes extra extra small to 5XL. Visit DSGOuterwear.com to find a retailer near you. This segment was brought to you by Sportsman's Alliance, protecting hunting, fishing, and trapping while promoting our outdoor heritage. Did you know the Sportsman's Alliance protects and defends America's wildlife conservation programs and the pursuits of hunting, fishing, and trapping that generate the money to pay for them? Just another fun fact showing how sportsmen and women are helping make a difference. Melissa Bachman is moose hunting in the Yukon with guide Dave Marsters of Yukon Big Game Outfitters. Using a boat, they head upriver to cover as much ground as possible in hopes of spotting a giant moose on the shoreline. And what's nice is you do a lot of the spotting from the boat. So by having the boat, we were really using the waterways to navigate through this entire area and cover a lot of ground. If we would happen to see a moose, we'd get in nice and close and then start calling. They hear another moose, they're coming on out. Beautiful, everything is just perfect. Not quite big enough, but what a great way to start off the trip. But Dave said, you know what? He's not quite a shooter. We can do better than that. And I'm thinking, okay, this is gonna be a good trip. This particular trip we seen a really nice bull, probably in that 60 inch range or better. And one of his horns was broke off right above the brow tine. He must have been fighting a bruiser, that's for sure, because uh, to break him off like that, that's the first time I've seen him broke off there, and uh, he was a big, big old bull. All I could think is, I want the bull that broke his antler off, because that is a monster in the area. We've got a bull and a cow spotted up here. We're just gonna get in and get a closer look. I'm not sure how big they are. There's two of them right there. Super close to this bull, probably 35 yards. Just too small. He's here with a cow and a calf. It's so cool. It's like we're on a nature safari. <laughs> awesome. The older bulls are normally on the top. On the, their tops are all rounded off on the tops, and all their points are gone. And and they, their horns, where they come off of the the skull, they they drop down. And that's that's the older bulls, and they're getting into that, you know, nine, ten year old range. And those are the ones we like to harvest. Uh, the mature bulls that are in their prime are like eight years old, nine years old. So those are the bulls that we're trying to, to harvest and, uh, and then let the younger ones grow up. So we decided to cruise to a new area and we were going along and we spotted an absolute monster bull. I'm looking at this thing and I'm thinking, you've got to be kidding me. Beautiful bull and he's right on the edge. And I thought, we gotta get a closer look. So we just kind of inched our way up nice and easy 
And as we got closer, this bull looked, I mean, definitely the biggest bull that we had seen. And he had nice, wide paddles, just incredible. And we started calling and using the paddle, and this bull was mad. He's raking the tree in front, and we got in close. And he looks huge, and they're like, you know what? We can do better than that. And I'm thinking, are you kidding me? This is a huge Yukon bull. Gave us all the time in the world, and I'm thinking, I can't believe I'm passing a bull like this. If they say we can do better, I trust my guides, and we are gonna move right along. I don't know what to say. There goes the bull. <laughs> wow, what a bull. That was awesome. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Winchester, the American legend. Silencer Central, silencers made simple. Get better blood trails and quicker kills with Easton Axis Arrows. HHA Sports. Range, dial, shoot. Scent Killer Gold with Hunt Dry Technology Plus. Apply it, dry it, and go hunt. Rage Broadheads. Leading the evolution in lethal technology. Spy Point. The mobile scouting solution. Sportsman's Alliance. Protecting hunting, fishing, and trapping in all 50 states. Moose Utility Division, your leader in ATV and UTV accessories. Redneck Blinds, the best hunting blinds on the planet. Cold Steel, anytime, anywhere. Hunt Stand, the number one hunting app in the world. And these other fine sponsors. We just wrapped up another day up here in the Yukon. No luck today. We had all sorts of weather, and that's what's used to be finding up here, is the weather is crazy. But what's awesome, look at this camp we have behind us. We have heat, we have electricity, and we have steak night tonight. So I'm pretty excited. It's really nice accommodations, fabulous for moose camp. But we do have some weather coming in tonight. It's cold enough that we are expecting that there's a possibility the whole ground might be white in the morning. It should be pretty awesome. Hunting moose with Yukon Big Game Outfitters, Melissa has had several encounters with big bulls. With the storm approaching, the hunting conditions could turn nasty. To be able to look around and, and see the steam rolling off the water in the morning, I mean, you wake up and you're like, this is a pretty awesome spot. Everywhere you look, it's beautiful. And on top of that, there's moose all over. So that next morning we headed out and it didn't take long and we spotted a nice moose and he had incredible fronts on him. And Dave said, this looks like a shooter. And that's all you can see is those big prominent fronts. So we ended up seeing him on the shore. He was kind of going away. We got behind him, set up, and Dave was thinking we'd be able to call him and bring him right back to us. Well, as we set up, this moose is just kind of going and going and going, and they move pretty fast. And we started calling. And he kind of came towards us a little bit, and there was the shot. But unfortunately, it was just too far. It was 330 yards, and I'm just not comfortable shooting that far. There's no reason for it. I wanted to be in nice and close, and I just said, no, nope, we're going to pass on this one. Very nice bull. It looked like he had just come out of velvet. He was kind of red on the one horn, and I've never seen that this late in the year. But, uh, Probably in the alders, and you've got that reddish tinge to his horns, but very nice bull. 
So we decided to cruise to a new area and we were going along and we spotted an absolute monster. I'm looking at this thing and I'm thinking, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, let's just go up here a little bit. We'll do some calling and raking and see if we can get them to come back down again. Yeah, it's super thick. Yeah, it's super thick, but we'll see what we can do. Get them back again. Stay tuned for more of Winchester Deadly Passion. Coming right here. South to the right. Oh my good giant. I can't even believe it. <sighs> this segment was brought to you by Matthews Archery. Elevate your archery experience with premium compound bows, accessories, apparel, and branded goods. Visit MatthewsInc.com to learn more. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Winchester, the American legend. Matthews Archery. DSG Outerwear, doing something great. Fleet Farm, built for real life. Nocturnal, bright, long-lasting, string activated. Walkers, protect it or lose it. Safari Club International, first for hunters. Bog, engineered for the unknown. Boss Bog, for the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market. Reinhardt, the best archery targets in the world. Winchester, the American legend. And these other fine sponsors. After spotting a giant bull from the boat, Melissa and the crew work into the thick cover and start calling. wasn't quite tall enough to be high enough to see him right away. And I'm thinking, goodness, but we can't hardly see him. I don't have a shot at the vitals. So I'm working with Martin on the camera. This was a stressful time. We're trying to all coordinate. Ben's filming over my shoulder. Martin's on the other shoulder. And we're trying to get it figured out to make sure that we can all see him and that I have a clear shot. Finally, I can see a little bit of a clearing to the left. Shoot again. Shoot again. Wait, 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 wait for him to turn sideways. Wait for him to turn sideways. He's gonna go down. He's huge. He's huge. Oh my He's goodness. He's a giant. This has been the most unbelievable hunt I have ever done. Get in here, man. <laughs> great, great calling, Dave. Dave calling. Great calling back. Oh my god. Dave calling. Dave, come over here. Oh, I come here. <laughs> Just to put in that work and to be there and to all of us work as a team and for all of that to come together, it truly is such an amazing feeling. Good, oh, good job. This one, didn't we, we did. Yeah. And we've got a beautiful day. You know what the coolest part of this whole thing is? One year ago, on Ben's birthday, we killed two huge bull elk. And today is Ben's birthday, and I just killed the biggest moose of my life. Birthday and you present. called him in. Wow. Look at this. He is a he's monster. A look at, he's those look at the front end on him. 
check the, this That's... is what people dream of when they come to the Yukon. Can you say he's old? Because he's oh, he's old. He's right. Yeah, look at he's broke off here too. Oh, he was not having it, having us in his area. And walking up on that bull, he was bigger than I could have ever imagined. Beautiful bull. Shot him with the 300 wind mag. And yep. Guess Ooh. what? You can see the water behind us. That is a double we're, bonus. We're within the 100 yard rule. <laughs> yeah, Beautiful well, bulls bull. like this don't count for the 100 yard rule. Though. No. No. Wow. Beauty. This, I mean, this is truly a bull of a lifetime. I mean, this is just incredible. Everything I could have ever hoped for. And what nice an wide, incredible wide experience. Wide paddles. Oh. Got everything. Big front end. Just Beautiful bull. Beautiful. Bull. Everything you could be yeah. looking for. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and look at the size oh. of this thing. That's wow. the work. That's the work. Yeah. Huge, wide paddles. Big, giant spread over 65 inches. I mean, just an incredible bull. And you know, the whole experience with Yukon Big Game Outfitters, it was top notch from beginning to end. We got some great photos, and then we started a big package up. The good news is, we didn't have very far to pack this bull out. And it was just such an awesome thing to bring all that meat out, to get out and just have an incredible adventure way up in the Yukon. This was truly something I will never forget and I cannot wait to come back and do it all again. This segment is brought to you by HuntStand, the number one hunting app in the world. Everything you need, all in one app. Precision mapping tools, custom map options, offline mapping, track wind and weather, real 3D, landowner information nationwide, and public hunting lands near you.